It's finally here, the Ice Barrel 300. I've been waiting weeks to get it, and today we're finally gonna unbox it. Okay, so I'm seeing this all for the very first time, opening up the Ice Barrel 300. First of all, this lid has some really good weight to it. Now the difference between the Ice Barrel 400 and the old one that looks like a whiskey barrel, and this one is that it's actually insulated, which is huge because the biggest complaint that most people have with the old one was the fact that you had to keep adding ice. And so hopefully that's been remedied with this one. Now let's see, we have a little bag. And the barrel. Okay, and here it is, the Ice Barrel 300. And I gotta say that this thing looks really really good i like what they've done with it it's all black so and that's the only color it comes in as of right now but it looks solid perhaps one of the biggest upgrades to the ice barrel 300 over the old one is the fact that not only does it have a spout to empty the water but also it is a water chiller ready so we have an inlet right up here that we can attach another hose you can always keep it closed and just add ice to it however uh, this is going to be huge for those that actually want to keep their, their cold plunge cold all the time and not have to constantly add ice because that adds up to a lot of money. Now this is a view from the top and this is really cool because as you can see right here and here, okay, those are the outside handles, but they're also really great for your arm placement. Plus, if you look down here in the bottom, it's about a three inch ledge kind of built up almost as though it's like a seat. So you can sit down on that and just get raised up just a little bit more in the tub. So a really cool feature. I'm glad to see that one. All right, so probably a question you might have about the Ice Barrel 300 is how big is it? Because it is a lot shorter than the last model. They say it should fit somebody up to about 6'2", up to 250 pounds. And I think that's a little conservative. Uh, I'm 5'10", and I'm gonna hop in right now and show you how much room is in here. So this isn't too bad. Uh, I actually really like these armrests over here. I like the seat that you're slightly elevated. And I can definitely scoot back in here. I mean, my shoulders will be covered for sure. If you know anything about the portable cold plunges like the ice pod, the chill pod, uh, this is similar to those as far as overall size. I, this, I think this is a little bit taller, a little bit wider. Uh, but this is the same principle. So you do have to have your knees, they have to be bent. You can't sprawl out like the plunge, for instance, but this isn't too bad. And I think once we get it filled up with ice and some water, uh, this is really gonna be nice. So, so far, I like it. Now, Ice Barrel includes this little cinchy bag right here. I haven't looked in it yet. So let's go ahead and see what is included. So there's a cover, which is really good. Help with the elements. Little Ice Barrel sticker, owner's guide. That's it, so nothing else is included, but I think that is just enough to get started. All right, now that we've taken a look at the Ice Barrel 300, we've got it unboxed, we'll look at some of the accessories. I wanna take it to the backyard. I wanna see at this point, after we fill it up with some water, put a lot of ice in it, I wanna see how long does it actually maintain cold temperatures? And I believe that would be a question that most people want answered because that is the selling point of the Ice Barrel 300 is that it's insulated, it's gonna be a really hot day today. We'll put the ice in, we'll check it after about 24 hours and we'll see how cold it is then and uh, we'll go from there. All right, if you're wondering if it'll actually fit through the front door, yes and no. You actually have to turn it on side. So if you have a narrow door, just be careful of that. So the new ice barrel, it takes about 77 gallons of water compared to I think it was about 100 gallons for the other one. So I imagine this should probably take about 15 to 20 minutes to fill it as high as we need to. Okay, it's all full of water. Now it's time to add some ice. I have four bags, seven pounds each, so 28 pounds of ice. We're gonna throw in and we're gonna see exactly uh, how cold we can get this. And before we fill it up with ice, I wanted to show you that we're right about 85 degrees. That's what the water is reading right now. So let's throw the ice in and see what it drops down to. I'm going to let that sit for about uh, five to 10 minutes. I'm going to put the lid on, try to keep the cold in, and then we'll see what the temperature is at that point. 
All right, guys, so I just checked it again. It's still reading about 75. It's been 30 minutes. I would have really liked to have put more ice in so that we could see how cold it actually gets. I'll have to, uh, at this point, forget about the ice and actually just attach a chiller to it. So it's gonna be in another video. All right, so I wanted to give it about a week to see how I actually like the ice barrel, not just give a first impression, but actually use it for a week and see how it goes. And I gotta tell you guys, I really like the ice barrel so far. I'd mentioned in the last video that I was going to attach a chiller and there is a DIY video that I created, so you can link to that, take a look. But here we are after about a week. And right now on a chiller, I've got it about 56 degrees. I'm kind of a wimp, so that's about where I, I like to keep it for at least right now. But as you can see, the water is crystal clear. It hasn't been changed at all. I have it attached to the chiller. And so this was the DIY, put it in a deck box. It's really cool so far. If you look inside, have everything in here that you need. We have the pump down here, a filter, of course the chiller right here, everything's insulated. Uh, and it, so far it's working really great. Your options as far as the ice barrel, uh, let's see, you have the ice barrel 400, which is the actual ice barrel shape. We have the 300 here which is insulated and I, the insulation works really great. I like this a lot so far just because of the footprint. I mean, it's relatively small, it's on my deck. Uh, it's not something like the plunge, which is kind of like a bathtub that takes up a ton of room. It'd be hard to move. Uh, this you could easily clean. You can easily move it. And I really think it's great. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. But otherwise guys, I think the Ice Barrel 300, I think it's a winner. I think it's going to be really popular.